Hey there guys, welcome to Let's Play with Paragon. So I've been absent for a little while, I was actually uh, waiting for a new microphone to come in. And it hasn't come in yet, but uh, it's it's on its way. Uh, I also started a new job this uh, this week, so I've been pretty, pretty busy and hectic for the past little while, but I um, figured I would just record something for a little bit, just to show you guys I'm still alive. Uh, so this is actually one of my favorite games, good little time waster called Crimson Land. Uh, I believe it's by 10 tons, 10 ton games, or 10 tons games, or something like that. Uh, let me see, I think I might, might show in here. Um, credits. Crimson Land, I might say. I said when I opened it up, I don't quite remember. Not a big deal, I will put the link into the description so that you guys can go check it out, and uh, if you like it, of course. So it's, uh, it's a top-down shooter with a whole bunch of different random weapons and uh, random perks and stuff like that. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of different modes in here, which is cool. Uh, Two-player, which I've actually never played. You, uh, there's no networking, so you have to play on the same computer, and I guess you'd have to have two mice or, I don't know, find some way to do it. it would be difficult, but uh, they've got a whole bunch of different modes here. Um, quests, basically, you go through a whole bunch of different levels. I actually can show you here. A whole bunch of different levels. Uh, ten levels per kind of phase or whatever. And so 50 levels, and then you can play them all through again on hardcore. Uh, and the hardcore ones actually are much more difficult. They've got uh, tons more monsters, and they just keep coming at you harder and harder. Uh, rush. Basically, you just fight a bunch, um, survival, you, uh, you just survive as long as you can, basically a score-based one, typo shooters, basically like a, uh, like a typing tutor base built into it, every monster comes out, and they've got a little word on top of them that you have to type in order to shoot them, uh, it's kind of fun, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through on quests, uh, I'm going to play through on hardcore, and start on 1.1, .1, uh, just so you can guys so you guys can get a taste for the game, and uh, yeah, let me know what you what you guys think. So, oh wow, I own mini gun to start off. That's that's fun. So it may well it may not look easy. I'm not I'm great at it, but it is uh, it is actually a very difficult game, especially on the hardcore modes. So here's some of the perks. Uh, regeneration is a really nice one. So we regenerate health. Uh, but I think I'm going to take Barrel Greaser. Basically just makes your bullets fly a bit faster and hit a bit harder. Um, so the Ion Minigun, which I've got right now, is actually it's a pretty awesome weapon. Anytime one of the Ion bullets hits a, hits a bad guy, there we go. It, uh, it actually ricochets, well, not ricochets often, but has a little blast radius that uh, can hit nearby enemies as well, which uh, is really cool. So yeah, it shows you here, 34 shots, 36% accuracy with it. Um, but anyways, it's not a big issue, let's just uh, keep going. So the very first guy you kill, or usually the first guy, it drops a weapon for you. Uh, the pulse gun, though, I <laughs> I do not want. I probably probably couldn't pass this level with a pulse gun. Mean minigun is pretty much the the next one I don't want. So I'm glad I was actually get able to pick up splitter gun. Um, I kind of wonder if this is all that there is on this. So I guess maybe the very first. Oh, okay, there's still some more. Let's see if I can hit him. Nope. The mean minigun has tons and tons of bullets and fires really quick, but any time you're carrying it, you actually walk like maybe half as fast, which is not a very good option. Let's see what I've got here. Plague Bear is a fun one. If they hit you, if any of the monsters hit you, it uh, transfers like a disease to them, which is kind of cool. Um, Animal Maniac's a fun one, though. Gives you a few extra... Or I think it increases the clip size by 20%. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of different power-ups that you uh, that can drop anytime you kill a monster. Like oh, sometimes it's weapons, which I didn't really want to pick that up, but 
end level, doesn't matter. Yeah, so you can see you just kind of wander through, tells you how long it took and stuff. But, um, you can wander through and pick up power-ups, pick up different... Oh shoot, I shouldn't have moved! Oh, I'm, uh, I might actually be in trouble on this one. This will be fun, though. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. So, target practice is actually... You stand, or you start right in the middle, and all these guys keep spawning around you. You're supposed to just stand still, which I guess I could now. Uh, and just shoot them all as they come up. But, I automatically walked in there. This is, this is when it starts getting hard, when a bunch of them start appearing. And you don't have quite enough time to shoot at them, so you end up moving. That big uh, bell tolling sound means I get another level. You can actually uh, stockpile your perks as well and then redeem them all all at once, which is actually kind of handy sometimes. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I don't really want the mean minigun again, so. Uh, usually the first monster. Sorry about that. Uh, first monster you kill drops a weapon, and uh, if you don't want it, you can just let it. Uh, despawn and another one will drop shortly after. Um, in, in a lot of the hardcore levels you actually end up relying on that uh, and you, you only really do you only um, you can only really pass some of the hardcore levels uh, by getting a lucky drop with, with the guns off the bat because it's, it's pretty much impossible to do to do some of the hardcore levels unless you get the right one. I mean, you also have to be pretty lucky with pretty lucky with the perks, or not the perks, the power-ups that drop, and well, and some of the perks that, that you get, too. So, let's see. Next level. Alien Dead. Well, this one's cool. So these things here uh, are basically little spawners that they count as monsters, too, so if you don't kill them, you can't pass the level, but... Come on! No one's dropping a gun, either. There we go. Ion Cannon. Let's see. Um, so, yeah, and they just they just keep spawning spawning guys until you destroy them. The Ion Cannon has an absolutely enormous blast radius. Just very, very slow, slow shot there. You can see it just killed so many of those guys. Um... I also picked up Telekinetic as a perk, which I think uh, it's actually... I, I personally think it's required. Um, unless you pick up power-ups from across the map. Very, very handy. Um, you just have to hover your hover your mouse over it. And it picks it up. So let's see, Monster Vision is really nice because it just highlights all the monsters in yellow. Let's see here. I might be able to show you telekinetic actually if something drops. Maybe not. I'm gonna be able to shoot these guys. There we go. There. So I can pick up fireballs from far away. It's pretty cool. All right. 1.6 random factor. Let's see. Let's kill him. Him. Sawed off shotgun. That's kind of fun. Got an enormous range on, or uh, enormous spread on it. Ah! Some some weapons just uh, don't cut it though. There we go. Got a shield, so I get to kind of run through them all for a bit. Oh no! Oh no! Let's see, oh, I'm uh, I'm almost dead here. All right, let's uh, let's do. Pick up some some of these. Bandage is a good one. Give me a whole bunch of health. What else do I get now? Poison bullets. Oh, I'm actually in trouble here, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, oh, shoot! That is not one that I want. Seeker rockets won't won't help me. Uh oh, trapped in a corner. 
Oh, nuke will help. Cool. Alright, yes, yeah, so you can see it. Uh, on the hardcore levels, it actually gets pretty crazy. And you end up just relying on a good good uh, perk or, or weapon or whatever. So I died there, but that's a good thing. You just keep playing until you win. Or you give up. Well, let's see what I get. Splitter gun. Actually, splitter gun on this level should be nice, because it has a nice chain reaction. Assuming I can get enough guys in here. Alright, so let's do fast shot will help right off the bat. Because it's pretty slow. So, oh yeah, look at it, just keep going. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I don't want the shotgun. Um, my favorite weapon. Get some more ammo in that clip. Oh, look at this. Terrible planning. Terrible, terrible planning. Uh, barrel greaser. That sounds fun. That's the fun thing. You just kind of pick whatever perks you want. and You know, I mean, yeah, some of them are better than others, but... It's just a fun little game. Let's see. Pains of poison. In case I do get hit. It's fun too, because you could just kinda choose choose some random perks or uh, or weapons and, and you know challenge yourself to to get a score with stuff that normally wouldn't do well. Alright, let's see. What's the fortress again? Oh I see. Do more damage the longer you stand still. That's cool, but uh, I don't really care right now. No, no, I want that speed. Oh, I missed it. Uh oh. Well, that might be the last. Is that the last wave? I hope so. Although I know on some of the later. Oh no, it's not. On some of the later. Hardcore levels. It's just absolutely crazy. Uh, you basically just keep restarting the level over and over and over until you get until you get the uh, the right weapon you need right at the bat off the bat. I mean, Evil Eyes is a cool one. It actually stops monsters in their tracks when you hover your mouse cursor over them. Look at this! Look at, look at this battlefield. It's just covered in blood. Come on. It's awesome. Alright, level completed. Alright, so I think we're 1 7? Yeah, 1 7. Spider Wave Syndrome. Right, well, let's take uh, let's take you out. Ah, me minigun again. Terrible way to start. Ah, I don't want to go in and get that. Oh, that, that'll be okay, but. I don't know if it'll win the level for us. It's got such a slow, slow reload. Um, monster winner, I guess. Or monster vision. Uh, I'm reading two lines at once. Come on. Alright, let's see. Fast shot. At least this way I can get a whole bunch of experience by killing a lot of guys all at once. But I'm really, really gonna need telekinetic so I can pick up power-ups that are... Damn, I missed that experience. Pick up power-ups that are across the map. That's gonna be crucial if I am actually gonna pass this level. So... Ah, shoot. Doctor's a cool one. Uh, you do a little bit more damage, but you also get... Sorry, fire bullets are awesome, awesome, awesome. Damn. Um, you also get this little health bar above all the guys when you harbor over them. It's not very useful with the Goss rifle or whatever, but whatever. Not a big deal. I guess I could have gone to pick up that shotgun. That shotgun on this level would have been pretty, pretty good, actually. But I'm having fun with the Goss gun. Of course, I can't even hit him. 
Nice. Big chain reaction off that one. Um, instant winner. Let's go for the experience. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, I really, really, really need telekinetic. Oh, but I think that's the last way, so... I think we've got this. Assuming I don't accidentally walk into a spider, which I almost did right there. Nice. Two at once. Okay. So I think this is 1.8 alien squads. Where are they? There they are. Blowtorch, that's a terrible, terrible gun. That will not win the level for me, so I'm gonna have to wait for that one to be spawned. Hopefully I get something better. Ion Cannon, yeah! Love the Ion Cannon. Look at that, look at that! Oh man, it's beautiful. So let's do long distance... Oh, telekinetic, I can't pass it up. Cannot pass up telekinetic. Oh, I love it. My own minigun would actually be a fun one here, but... It's just so satisfying having me out of a cannon. You need to shoot one of those guys and take them all out. Alright, so let's see. Oh, I should have taken Ion Gun Master. Oh well. No big deal. Uh, what's that? Jackhammer. Oh. Actually, you know, because I didn't take Ion... Ion Gun Master, I'm gonna take the Jackhammer. This is, this is probably my second favorite weapon. Uh, especially when you get fire bullets. Look at that. Oh, it's just, it's so much fun. It's just a rune clearer. The, the slow reload kind of sucks, because actually, it's, uh, it's really going to hurt me now, that uh, slow reload. Why do a telekinetic? I have to remember that. See what I can get here. Lean, mean experience machine. Basically, just you keep regen or not regenerating, but gaining experience slowly over time. It's not uh, not a huge bonus, but it helps. There we go. I guess I shouldn't shoot or ruin my stats. So, one point nine nesting grounds. Where are they? Oh, oh, oh! Where do I get? Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, come on! Pick it up! I almost missed that. Let's take this one out first. Nice. Eh, Ion Gunmaster. Look at that. Beautiful start. Even if I don't win, it's gonna be fun. Ion Gunmaster and the Ion Cannon make for a very deadly combo. Um. Let's do fire cough. Oh! I don't want to pick that up. It's always terrible when you accidentally pick up a gun that you don't want. Although splitter guns. Splitter gun's a good one. It wouldn't wouldn't hurt me too much, but. Oh look at that! Look at that! Oh, it's just beautiful. It is just beautiful. Let's see what uh, we've got here. Long distance runner is always a really nice one. Um, I like something with some more ammo, but let's do fast loader. That's almost like more ammo, right? Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. I don't have telekinetic though, but... Oh, that is okay, I think. I think that's probably it. The uh, ion, ion cannon definitely made made that level easy. Okay, and I think we are on 110. Oh yeah, 110. So our first guy that shoots back at us now. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I don't think I get to kill him right away because he takes a lot of hits to kill. Uh, so I'm gonna go up here and hopefully get a good weapon. Goss shotgun will do it. Let's take him out first. There. Uh, okay, fast shot will be nice with this. What else do I get? Um, bonus magnet. Let's 
I don't remember how hard this level is, actually. Um, I mean, we're gonna find out. I think the main part was that the guy that shoots, so... Because I was able to kill him really quickly. I think it might be manageable. I just love the sound of this. It's like silent. Silent little gun. Well, until you pick up fire bullets. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, I am going to end this right here, and I actually probably will continue this on uh, next time, and I'll go through, let's see here, so I finished 1 to 10, and I will do uh, continue on in 2 next time. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If, uh, if you did, go check out Crimson Land. It's a uh, 10-ton game, so I'll, I'll put the link in the description so you can see it. And, uh, yeah, support that. Even though it's an older game, uh, it's definitely worth the money. So I will see you guys next time.